Welcome back again to another Wellness Wednesday here at Spine and Rehab Specialist. Again, I'm Dr. Earl Hayden, uh, one of the physical therapists here, and I'm joined again with Chris, who's going to help me demonstrate a few exercises. Today, we are talking about the hip hinge, and this is a common movement we see in a lot of sports, but also a lot of everyday activities, and done properly, this can be used to develop the hips, strengthen the hips, hamstrings, and also protect the back. The first exercise we're going to show you is the Romanian deadlift or also known as the RDL. So the Romanian deadlift is simply pushing the hips back and reaching back with the hips and bending forward at the hips. Now, if we come and see the movement from the side, reaches back with the hips and the knees are nice and relaxed, okay? He's not rounding out at the back, so he's not rounding here. All the motions come from here. So this is important for learning how to rotate the body on the top of the leg. Now, for a lot of people, this could be a little tricky to learn. So one cue, a little, or the teaching method I like to use is having someone use this, uh, try to do this uh, movement up against the wall. So we just typically tell them to stand near a wall and reach back with the hips, trying to tap the wall with the butt, okay? So the person should not lose balance. The feet should stay flat. And again, knees are relaxed, but not squatting. So don't lock them and don't squat down. Just reach back with the hips. Now, once you have the technique mastered for doing the RDL without any weight, you can progress it by either doing more repetitions, going slower through the movement, or adding load. So here we're using a kettlebell, and Chris is keeping that kettlebell tight, and the motion is the same. He's just pushing the hips back, gripping the handle tight, okay? Notice that's his end. You can do it while hiding the arms down, or keeping it tight up here on the chest, um, for some people, this might feel more comfortable, it might be easier to learn. Sometimes when we have the weight down here, we tend to see people round out a little bit more. So they're still having difficulty doing the motion, have them hold the weight a little bit closer to the chest, and that might take care of it. Now, the same technique, even if you're using a kettlebell or using or not having any weight, just pushing the hips back, it's the same thing even if you're using a bar. So this is how it's going to look. So Chris is going to grab that bar, gripping it tight, keeping the bar close to his body, and he's gonna push the hips back, bending forward at the hips, not at the back, okay? And you notice how the bar is staying close to his body, it's not drifting out in front. So the next hip hinge movement we're gonna talk about is called the single leg Romanian deadlift, or single leg RDL, also known as the golfer's lift, again, depending on who you ask. So this motion is helpful for trying to pick up something from the ground or just developing a balance, uh, strengthen the hips, strength along the hamstrings, and also developing the core because since you're standing on one leg, everything has to work a lot harder and it's a good way to pick up things from the ground while putting less pressure on the back. Also, this is a good option if you are having if you are having some problems with your back. Sometimes single leg versions of exercises are a little bit less stressful on the back. So to start the motion, we're gonna stand on one leg. We're gonna lift up the back leg and bend forward at the hips at the same time. One cue I like to I like to use is we're not so much lifting the leg up, we're reaching behind. Okay, so there's a wall behind you, and if you need to, um, if you're having problems with balance, you can even use your arms and reach forward. So you reach for the arms, the wall in front of you, and reach for the wall behind you. That naturally starts to bring, uh, make everything tighten up and help stabilize everything around the hips, so it's easier to balance. So now let's say you're still having difficulty with balancing. One thing you can do is have something to hold on to. So here Chris is using these two stands and he's still going to do the same thing. He's reaching forward with the arms, reaching back with the leg. Notice that stance leg is relaxed. He's not locking it. So sometimes if you can do this, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of support here. If it allows the person to um, focus on getting a good workout on the hips and the leg. The next version of the single leg RDL we're going to show is called the kickstand uh, single leg RDL. This is a good option if you're still having problems with learning how to balance or maybe um, lifting the leg up is still putting a lot of pressure on the back. So one way we can do this is just having the back leg, we'll just have the toe down and the motion is still the same, still pushing those hips back. So you get a good stretch on the leg that's in front. You're starting to get a good contraction on these muscles here. Um, and you can still add weight. If this motion gets a lot easier, you can still add load, do longer pauses at the bottom. Uh, really, the possibilities are endless. 
Now, let's say you still want to progress, you want to work on still trying to build up, lifting up the leg through that motion to do the single leg RDL. Then what another option you have is to use a slider or a paper towel or paper plate, something on some tile. So we're gonna have, Chris is gonna have one foot on the slider and he's going to reach back with the leg and bend at the hips. He's not bending at the back. You notice the stance leg right over here is staying nice and relaxed. You're still gonna get that same contraction on the back of the hip. And some people might feel a little bit more secure doing it this way than lifting up the whole leg. So those are hip hinge uh, motions. Um, and the version that we use today were again, Romanian deadlifts or RDLs and single leg RDLs. Now, if you get strong with these movements, these carry over to different things, whether it's jumping, sprinting, picking something up from the floor, um, trying to balance and get yourself in and out of vehicles um, without falling. So these just translate to so many different activities that we do in everyday life and in sports. And if you have any problems with it, or if you're having um, pains with it, doing any of these exercises, because you shouldn't, then maybe it's time to come get checked out with one of our physical therapists coming for a free screen and we can check you out. And again, and as always, join us every Wednesday for another for another uh, Wellness Wednesday, another set of exercises to get you moving.